This video is going to give you an idea for the process of converting a child's hand-drawn art into digital vector art using the free software Inkscape. This is a picture that my daughter had drawn uh, the best that she could, and she wanted to put it into a book and have it look more professional or just, just more clean. And so using Inkscape, we can do this. And the main tool we're going to use is the Bezier Curve tool or the Paths tool. And it just consists of creating these nodes and drawing paths and then layering them on top of each other and then changing the color of the paths to create different types of shading and different depth in the image. And since it's already um, hand-drawn, uh, like here we're just doing the, the rocks, we can kind of go through and roughly you know, follow the outlines of these rocks and create some different type of shading. And we can take our liberties and add a little bit more detail uh, and maybe add some different shape to these rocks beyond um, what she has drawn. Uh, but the, almost the entire process is just going to be creating shapes and then adding a color to it. And that's kind of the cool thing about Vector, if you're not familiar with it, is that it's really just putting a bunch of shapes together rather than manipulating each individual pixel in the image like you would do in something like Photoshop or GIMP and using brushes. We just create shapes, um, and they can either be simple shapes like circles and rectangles, or they could be more advanced shapes um, like these um, completely custom drawn shapes uh, that we're using to create the look of this rock um, outcropping. And this is obviously a sped up video. It's not meant to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Instead, I just want to show you the process um, for how you would go about doing this. And hopefully you'd see a pattern that it really is just drawing these shapes, changing the color of the shape, and then changing the layer order or the level order of that, you know, where it sits relative to the other uh, shapes that are drawn. And these shapes, again, are called, they're really called paths. And this is the whole um, point of vector art. We're telling the computer between these different nodes, these different dots that we're clicking on the computer, draw a curved line connecting all of them. Um, and that's how, that's how vector art works. It really is a good exercise to do something like this. Take artwork that someone else has drawn and then trace over it. Uh, because it can give you, uh, kind of help you learn a new art style. Uh, maybe you do something a little bit more jagged edges or more curved edges than you usually do. Uh, so taking someone else's artwork and tracing it is a really good way to gain a little bit more experience and to learn how to use uh, tools in a different way than you maybe normally would um, using Inkscape. Um, again, if I, I mentioned it earlier, but Inkscape is 100% free and open source software. You can use it for personal and commercial use, and it's just a great software. It's kind of the standard, in my opinion, the best um, vector graphics software out there, um, even taking into account um, Adobe Illustrator and some of these other um, you know, professional paid uh, vector art programs. Well, I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully it's been informative for you and kind of shown you some of the process of how you might go about converting uh, a hand-drawn image over to a vector image. I have other videos kind of talking about how to do the same thing, um, just not images that have been drawn by children. Uh, also, if you want to learn how to use Inkscape, I do have tutor a tutorial series here on YouTube that takes you from the very beginning steps, shows you how all the tools work, how Inkscape works. It's a completely free tutorial series. So check that out if you want to learn how to use um, this program. It's not as daunting as it, as it first seems. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.